Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Just to announce to you guys, um, if you've watched my videos, you've seen that the majority of my videos over the past year, year and a half, in the description have had a note that if you go to bushcraftoutfitters.com and use the code Ochoco, you can get a discount. I am sad to say that Ochoco um, code will no longer work because Bushcraft Outfitters is going out of business what inventory they have left in stock which isn't much when that's gone they're shutting down uh, i've talked with them i guess they've had some issues with being able to get uh, materials for certain things their tarps and ponchos as well as some uh, problems with the manufacturing so unfortunately they are closing down which means i can no longer recommend their ponchos and their tarps because they are no longer going to be in business. So I have been out testing a lot of different ponchos, just about every poncho that's on Amazon, as well as some more expensive ones, military surplus stores. I, I have, guys, I, gotta, I'm, I may have a yard sale that's just a poncho yard sale if you're interested in the near future, because I have really gone out through the market testing those things and a lot of different tarps too because i want to recommend gear to you guys and i myself am not comfortable carrying a piece of gear that no longer exists and the company no longer exists so bushcraft outfitters you guys were awesome i loved doing business with you thank you for making great tarps thank you for making great ponchos i'm sorry to see you go i'm sure a lot of the viewers are sorry to see you go Maybe things will change and you'll be back one day. Please get a hold of me if you are. But in the meantime, I'm testing ponchos. I'm testing tarps so that I can make recommendations to you guys. And also, as I said, I'm not comfortable carrying a piece of gear that I cannot have repaired uh, or replaced or anything because the company is out of business. So starting with ponchos. If you go on Amazon and you just type in military poncho, you get a ton that come up. And the biggest difference, it's not in material. The thing I found out as I started buying all these different brands, brands that would say, you know, military spec, GI spec, like this one right here from ActFire, GI military poncho. The biggest thing I came to find, two things actually. One, the material on all of them was pretty much identical. Uh, regardless of what brand I was getting, where it was made. Like this one's not American made. Sorry guys, it's a, it's a China thing. But what I was getting in the mail and, and I was buying up pretty much everything out there that people were, were buying, the material felt like it was identical on all of them. So I have in my head the idea that the manufacturers are probably sourcing their material from one place, one manufacturer, and making their ponchos all out of the same or pretty close to the same material. I can't swear to that. You know, this one, for example, ActFire, they claim that most ponchos are made of something else and theirs is made of a better ripstop. I can't verify that because to me, they feel similar. But the big difference, guys, this was the big difference. As I started getting all these ponchos and laying them out to my old military issue ponchos, I said I have a couple of the old school woodland camo official issue ponchos. They were all, for the most part, much smaller. And so I started measuring and, and looking at the measurements and all these different brands. Some of them are as narrow as 49 inches with the vast majority and, and go through Amazon and read the vast majority being between 52 and 56 inches wide, 54 probably an average. As far as length, some of them were as short as 79 inches with the average being right around 84. So that was a problem for me because I don't use a poncho just for a poncho. I use a poncho for shelters. If it's going to go in a shoulder bag or a scout kit or something, it needs to become a shelter. So something that's 
49 inches wide and 79 inches long just doesn't make a very big shelter. So the reason I went with the Act Fire, the materials were all feeling pretty much the same, is because it measures 90 by 60. And that makes a big difference. When you start doing a plow point and going diagonal, something that's only 79 inches long, 49 inches wide, versus something that's 90 inches long and 60 inches wide, you get a lot more shelter. That's Again, that's a big issue for me. So that is the reason that I have gone with the Act Fire. It's not really material specific because they all pretty much felt the same. You read the reviews on this. There's a bunch of people who claimed their poncho smelled like a dead fish. There is absolutely no smell whatsoever. I mean, there's nothing. So I don't know what it is they got. And I had another reviewer complaining that he thought the material was too light and he was scared to button the buttons that it might rip if he pulled them apart. So the first thing I did when I came out I started snapping them up and jerking them apart hard over and over deliberately abusing the material and no problem it's not super heavy duty my uh, GI woodland camel ponchos are a stronger material but I'll tell you what they're a lot heavier this thing is very very light it's under a pound my GI ones are much heavier in weight and bulkier and this thing as you saw in the, the little pouch it comes in takes up very little room adds almost no weight to a kit another reviewer said the head opening was too small for his head well, I don't know if I, I don't really have a big head or a small head average, but there is absolutely plenty of room for me. So as I said, it's a full 66. Or six, sorry about that, the full 60 inches wide, not being cut short down around an average of 54, and a full 90 inches long, whereas most of the ones uh, are averaging around 84. So I got more length, I got more width, which is going to mean a bigger shelter. There's a belt made out of this same material on the inside. twist it up here there we go sorry about that guys I was all crooked in here <laughs> so there's a belt on the inside of this poncho made out of this same material so you can tie it tight around your waist you can cinch this up Tight under your chin if you want. And it came with a bunch of this cordage that was attached to each of the grommets, but that's not how I use it. So I took that off. So anyway, now that I got this on straight, if I snap this up, Kind of hard to do here with it on me already. But if I snap that up, I have good arm coverage. So some of the ones I was testing were all the way up to my elbows. And so my whole lower arm stuck out. This actually goes all the way out to my wrist. And what we're going to do, now I've you know, it, it's, it's 
pretty good at water repellent. I mean, I haven't got wet on the inside. I haven't been out here in an all out rain or anything yet either. But as I said, I have been testing these. I've had no problems. Again, the snaps, I deliberately snapped and pulled on them hard, jerked on the material. Was rough with it, drag it through the brush. So I'm dragging it through the sticks, I'm dragging it through the limbs, dragging it over the tops of some trees. I've had no tears, no problems. Let's go throw this up into a shelter. I always have some uh, Coglins tent stakes in my shoulder bag. So that's what I got with me. Let's go see what happens. Okay, here's the scenario, guys. I am always out hiking away from my main camp. I will carry a poncho or a small tarp with me in this case i got my poncho in my shoulder bag with some tent stakes and i usually have i have extra cordage in the shoulder bag as well as in my pocket and in the event that i get caught in a storm and can't make it back to camp i'm going to grab my poncho and i'm going to throw up a quick plow point so we've got 60 by 90 so i'm going to have more length and more width and then i have uh a contractor's bag in my shoulder bag which I would stuff full of debris to get me off the ground if the ground was wet or cold. So using these uh, some scrap bank line that I have shoved down in my pocket we'll just go tie this off to a tree throw it up into a plow point and uh, see what it looks like. extra cordage out here that I have shoved in my pocket bank line Grand Sportsbrook hand hatchet. Take three of these tent stakes. All I did was just a quick overhand knot. I'm just, for some reason, I'm out away from camp. It started raining hard and I decided rather than to keep hiking, I'd shelter up for a little bit. Okay, I actually pulled the back out tight and put some uh, extra strain on the material and on the grommet just to see. No problem.
Now, the other thing I would do if it was really raining right now, I would obviously tie up the hood. And then if there was another tree anywhere close, like here, I could tie it to a branch overhead. I'll run another piece of cordage up and pull that up for a little more room. So like so. So I rolled the hood up, cinched it down, and I'd take the other piece of cordage with some bank line and stretch it up to a limb. But for now, let's go around to the other side and see what this looks like. Now, as I get in this, remember my reason for recommending this on all the ones I was testing off Amazon that are anywhere close to this price range, we'll say from uh, you know 60 bucks on down to nothing. <laughs> The materials on most of them that we're saying uh, GI spec, GI, you know, military, whatever, using keywords to make it sound like you were getting a replica of the original, the materials all felt pretty much the same. This one, it's light, but it's definitely ripstop. I, like I said, I, I've deliberately drug it through the brush, drug it over shark limbs. Uh, Here's a stick with, you know, all kinds of odd um, sharp points on it. No abrasions, no holes. I mean, hold that up to the light. I've tugged on it, I've pulled on it, I've snapped it, pulled the snaps hard. So again, the big difference is the measurements. Imagine some of these ponchos are as short as 79 with 84 being the average, the closest competitor to this one was 86, and the width being as narrow as 49, the average being 54, the closest competitor being 56. This is 90 by 60. I'm five foot 10, weighing in about 219, so I'm, I take up a lot of width. Look at that, look at that. I got room all the way out above my head, another foot beyond my head, and I'm stretched out. My feet are, my feet are stretched out. I got width. I have got a lot of room, far more. Some of those other ones, when I was testing them and putting them up, it was ridiculous. I would have had to curl up and stayed curled up to stay out of the weather. Not on this one. Feet all the way stretched out. A full nother, but that was a good foot and a half beyond my head. Plenty of width, plenty of protection. Again, I can pull the hood up on the outside with cordage and give myself that much more room, a whole nother foot of headroom inside, which is what I would do if it was actually actually gonna stay in here for a while. Plenty of room to throw a debris bag or whatever underneath and curl up. Put a little fire out here in the front. Now there's the downside. Uh, the Bushcraft Outfitters ponchos that I was recommending, they also measure about the same as this, right around the 60 by 90. So they were a bigger poncho but they're also made with fire retardant material. So I was able to have those real close to a fire. I had embers landing on them, no holes or things. Unfortunately, none of the ones that are out there right now have the fire retardant. However, we're talking 35 bucks versus I think the Bushcraft Outfitters were 120. So this is still safe to use with a small fire located, you know, a good step and a half out here in front. If I need some heat, I can reflect some heat back in here 
and keep it out of the wind so that the wind is blowing sideways across the fire or from behind the poncho, which was what it's what I would want anyway. I would not want the wind blowing in at me. I would want the wind blowing this way so I could have a small fire out here, get some heat from the fire, stay warm, stay dry. So this is the one I am recommending the act fire. It will be in the description. When I purchased this, it was 35 bucks. I have an entire box full of other brands of ponchos I have tested off Amazon. And seriously, I, they are going to all end up at a yard sale if you guys are in Central Oregon when I'm having it. <laughs> but this is the one, as I said, Ochoco Bushcraft, or I mean, sorry, uh, Bushcraft Outfitters is out of business. I needed new products, not only that I could recommend to you guys, but I myself could carry knowing uh, these guys have a five-year warranty on this, which a lot of the ones out there have no warranty or it's only like one or two. So they, they're putting five-year warranty. And in the um, reviews on Amazon, there's at least one person I came across who had contacted the company about something on his, I can't remember exactly what it was. It was a small issue. And they immediately sent him out a brand new one for free. So he had the old one, which worked perfectly. I think it was just missing like one snap. It was just something that, some little error. So they sent him, told him, keep the old one. We'll send you out another one. The other one turned out perfect. So I guess the customer service with the company is real good. So this is the one I am for now recommending. If something better comes along, I will tell you guys, sorry it's made in China, but everything that I tested off Amazon, the vast majority of them are not made in America. And even the ones that were, I couldn't put my stamp on because the material felt identical, first of all. So I think it, maybe it's made in America, but they're getting their material in China, just stitching it over here. But the other thing was, when it's you know six inches shorter and six inches narrower narrower which turn diagonal is cutting off you know that much of your shelter and and that much of the width and being able to shelter with a poncho is an important survival use of a poncho i just could not recommend them so this one i'm recommending 66 by 90 35 bucks on Amazon right now. Uh, it's only available in multicam, so if you want a different color, sorry guys, this is what there is. But Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft, I hope this review helps you out. I like it well enough that I'm going to order a second one, so I've got a couple of these. Take care, everyone.